Hey you guys, I have a fun little project that I wanted to share with you. I just ordered my first um, Easy Press Mini and I thought this would be good for like little projects that I cannot get my 9x9 regular Easy Press. So this is my Cricut and look at how it looks. And this is what you get with it. You get an auto off switch, three heat settings, dry even heat and then you get the little a safety base which goes on the bottom so it's very easy simple to explain they give you instructions and let's get started it's really easy i already warmed it up which was on the orange and now it is on the first so i'm going to go ahead and press it again and i want it on the second and then the second one, the first one is for low, the second one is for medium, and then high is the last one. So I think I'm gonna have it on high. So we're gonna see how the button is orange and it's low, medium, and high. So it goes up and the machine is very little and it has this little base so you will not get burned. So please try to keep it on your base if you are not using it, just because I don't want you to get burned. But a very simple instructions. All you do now is wait. Very simple. And it does have a little place to store it in the box, but you should buy something for it. See how it clicked? It says it's ready. So we're gonna test this out with these cute, adorable little bunnies that my friend Chrissy gave me. And I am going to put one in my son's Easter basket no in my son for my son I'm gonna give him one and I'm also gonna give one for the godchild so you see how cute they are they're little adorable bunnies and let me show you the boy so she sent me both of them I was so happy she did and not only that she gave me the great idea to write their names so that's what we're doing right now let's go back down I think that's good so what we're gonna do is write their name. So I'm gonna, my first godchild, I'm gonna go ahead and write her name. Now, do I take this off before I give it to them or do I give it to them with that? I don't know how it goes. But look how cute this little bunny is. She has a little bow right there. And then the most thing that is so cute is their feet. Look at their feet. Isn't that adorable? So her name is Andrea. So I printed it out in the pink. Look how cute that is. So we're going to go ahead. This is my first time using this machine. So I really don't know a lot about it. But I am going to go ahead and just really quick. I'm going to go ahead and just iron this on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the bunny ear. And I'm just going to iron it. And I do have my Easy Press mat. And this is from Cricut. And then it's a 9x9. Nine nine. So I just want to see, you know. Just really quick the power that it has we need it nice and flat and now we're gonna go ahead and put her name under and we'll see how good this works so I'm gonna go ahead and shape it more just because the ear is kind of you know And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. I'm going to get as close as I can without cutting it or messing it up. Okay, so let's add it on here. And once you have it exactly how you think you want it, we're going to go ahead and press it. I'm pressing it for 30, but you know what? Let me go get my heat press guide and see what that says. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and press it. And I am going to use, I don't think I need my transfer sheet for that since I don't have a small one. I'm just going to press it on there and I'm going to do 30. So I'm going to count it to 30. Now I'm going to let it dry. And if it does lift, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press it again. But 
actually that worked out really good so i'm gonna go ahead and press it one more time Now I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go ahead and lift it. So let that dry and then we'll lift it. And then we have bunny number two. So let me check that out. Yeah, that actually worked out really good. Oh my God, this is so cute. I cannot wait till she sees it. It is adorable. Okay, guys, so that came out perfect. It says Andrea, and I'm going to go ahead and do the next one. So we're going to go ahead and press the other one, and I'm going to do the same exact thing for this one. And then I'm just going to add it. And the next one is for my son. So I'm just going to... Um, do the same thing. I'm going to cut it down as small as I can. And then I'm going to add it onto the ear. And then make sure that I have it exactly where I want it. Once you put it on there, you cannot take it off. You're going to mess it up. So don't press on it again. Just press on it the first time and that should be ready. So let's go ahead and press on this and I'm just gonna count it myself. Now we're gonna go ahead and let that dry before we pull it just so I make sure it's really nice and dry. And then when it's nice and dry, if you feel that it's gonna lift, go ahead and put the paper back and press on it again, like that. Just put the paper back and press on it again. And then go ahead and let that dry. And we'll let that dry and then we'll lift it when we come back once it's nice and dry and you touch it and it feels cool go ahead and lift it yeah that looks good and there you go look how cute that is and there you go you have a custom little bear for a girl or a boy however you want to do it and yeah it's really simple and i use my mini um Cricket, um, yeah, just the mini Cricut, the mini easy press Cricut. Everything you need is going to be in the box. So once you get it, the instructions are in there as well. And then go ahead and use your machine. And I actually made another one in the black. I wasn't sure what color I was going to use a manual, but the brown looks really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the baskets. His I'll put separate, of course, and then on hers, I'm gonna go ahead and make a cute little basket for hers. And then on the other ear, you can put the date, you can put the last name, you can put um 2021 or just a little message like I love you or anything you can think of, I think would be really cool. I go ahead and use it and let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and until next time, bye you guys.